Andrew said, I had a question from a colleague. Sure. It's always the friend asked the question. The friend <laughs> Asking for a question. friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a question from a colleague about how could they transfer a personal Microsoft list stored in OneDrive to another SharePoint in Teams. When you create a new list in SharePoint online and choose based on existing list, you cannot see your personal lists, only the SharePoint online lists. I know I could export it as an Excel and then import, but does anybody know another easier way? That seems pretty easy to me. You I mean, that's easier than there. ShareGate. <laughs> With that or a migration tool, like those are your options. <laughs> you could yeah, assign it to so. an intern. If you want an appreciation for the process, go back a few versions of SharePoint to when you didn't have import export from lists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Copy. You can copy and paste. Open it all up. Select it all. Copy it oh, all. Yeah. One paste it all in. Time. Oh, grid view. <laughs> Just yeah. make the new one in in SharePoint Online and grid view it. But export. It's pretty much what you've stated. I know yeah. I could export it. Ex okay, export it. So there's not another easier way. It's pretty easy to do mm. the Excel export and import. Like I mean, it's it it's not particularly complex. I've walked a lot of end users through um, in terms of training, and they don't find it too too cumbersome to do. Yeah, I think the only thing to watch on that is when they import it again to make sure the data types are correct, and they doesn't bring them all in as text columns as. You know, mm -hmm. you want to make sure the data types match. And if you have any, I think calculations or things like that may cause a problem because um, I'm asking because I'm thinking it's referring to columns that have a specific name. And I'm wondering if it if, if, is there a GUID that's assigned to those in the new one that those may not work. I'm asking. I'm just throwing the flag to see mm -hmm. if, calc if there's any calculated columns that may not work and they have to recreate those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a shallow copy, so it's not going to go down whatever object graph you've got. Okay. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong, uh, wrong on this one. I don't know. I just, you know, getting that integration with the, um, you know, being able to export or go to your clipboard or whatever. I imagine that was enough of a time for somebody. But if that they want to. They've done any oh. workflows or anything around that, that's going to be a problem. Right. Right. I'd probably create a power automate flow that reads in the columns and all the data into, you know, new items and creates the columns and the data and everything. I, that, that seems easier than export and import. Do you always like see that Schneider as way more complex? complex. <laughs> yeah, that, I see that as way more complex. It would take me so long to try and work I, out how to do the power automate. I, mean, I, I need to find for these scenarios, there's a great Dilbert strip where Dilbert and uh, what's the little, his his buddy there, uh, Wally. 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 Uh, and, they're, uh, and they said, it's like, all right, well, we'll create a database. And the boss is like, you know, why why do you always create da databases? Like, we like databases. So it's uh, with Jonathan, everything is a, there, there's power app and power automate that can be created for that, that thing. Yeah. I mean, first you have to draw it all out in whiteboard, obviously. Of course, yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and then you design the workflow in whiteboard and then you take that design and you import it into uh, Visio so that you no, have no, a no, no. workflow Jonathan, diagram. Jonathan, you take a picture of it with the, with the uh, Microsoft 365 mobile app that converts it into the drawn image into digital images that you can manipulate, move around. Then you import that into Visio or OneNote to further right. modify. Correct. Oh, Correct. and maybe Copilot will save it into Loop for you. There you go. Share it in Loop. Send it out to the team so we can collaborate on it. <laughs> Does anyone have Bingo yet? <laughs> yes. So Andrew, yeah, the uh, yeah, that's the way that we recommend that you do that thing. <laughs> do that There's thing. one other caution that I think a lot of people don't know about when you import a list into a SharePoint site as a list, it creates a ghost copy of that list in your site assets library. That was the raw file when you imported it. You got to go in and delete that, or else hmm. if you you're going to get search results based oh. on that library. So did not know that. That's kind that of an ugly good. little barnacle that happens so that people don't realize. That was Thanks, the Sherry. best bit of this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> but seriously, though, if you're if if Andrew's talking about like a one off move one or two across, like, yeah, hey, look, it's not fantastic, but it's it's not enough of a scenario that Microsoft said, hey, we need to go build a native automated way to do this do, do this thing. But if you're trying, you're talking about volume of those then you might look into a third party tool. I think you have some of the same restrictions in like using Suregate um, to move those pieces. You still need to go and verify that, you know, what was moved over from these uh, from these lists. Did, I, did you build any logic into that? Did you have any other automation, whether that stuff is still working um, once you move it across? But yeah, I mean, you, you do have options, but that's not gonna be time or cost effective it's easier just to export. My concern though is that they've done a personal list in OneDrive. And if you had, as you said, a whole heap of those, where's your training and making sure that people aren't creating it in their personal space? This shouldn't even be in the personal space. This should be starting from a SharePoint in the very first place. That's not right. Shame, Andrew. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's, we should have started with that. Shame it's because... How it's they because they used Microsoft <laughs> lists instead of actual SharePoint lists. That's why. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we all yeah. know that proof of concepts become production. Production yeah. release one. Yep. Feel like yeah. And this is that how it is changing. From Sharon several times. <laughs> <laughs> Where you start from makes a difference. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Bringing it all back around, folks. Yeah. All right. Those of us of a certain age don't even have to think about that one. It just happens. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much.